Kepes is a seaside town near Chanakale. In fact, you could be guilty of thinking that it is part of the city of Chanakale, but it is a town with its own municipality, which was established in 1992. The population of Kepes, as of 2019, is around 25,000 by conservative estimates. Kepes is the first stop along the main Izmir to Chanakale Highway, the D550, as you make your entry into Chanakale City. This video is not really going to delve into the history of Kepes, since Kepes as a town is relatively modern. It was, however, a settlement some 150 years ago and populated by 28 families who came to the area after the Ottoman war with Russia. The settlement expanded as Turkmen, Kurdish and nomadic tribes settled here. Kepes today has everything that you would need of a town. It is close enough to the centre of Chanakale for a short trip by taxi or bus. It is made up predominantly of new housing in the form of apartment blocks which are built to the new standards of construction and therefore are earthquake proof unlike many of the older buildings in Chanakale city centre. Kepes has a port. It acts as the port of Chanakale and receives freighters as well as cruise ships. There is a water park in Kepes and it does have its own beach area. The seafront promenade runs all the way from Kepes through to Chanakale with a few breaks by the Colin Hotel which hopefully will get joined up soon and make it a continuous walk and cycleway all the way through to the city centre of Chanakale. Restaurants in Kepes are undoubtedly along the promenade seafront area, which is about a 10 to 15 minute walk from the town centre. There are some nice cafes too, a picnic area and some spectacular scenery.
The town has an impressive municipality building, a large park and picnic area and playgrounds for children, as well as a small park in the centre, which has a couple of tea houses. There are some excellent supermarkets and small shops and an abundance of small restaurants. The area is served with a good central taxi point and is on the Chanakali bus route with regular connections to the city centre. For shopping, Kepes is ideally placed for easy access to the new Onya de Burda shopping centre packed with the well-known brands and cafes and the large Kippa mega store is just down the main central high street which is called Atatuk Jadase and this runs right through the middle of Kepes and which it is the main road in and out of the town. has its own covered market, which is open every Monday. Served by almost every conceivable type of store and with a well-planned and modern environment, it's easy to see why Kepes is popular with people moving to Chanakala. Rental prices in Kepes are considerably less than what you might pay in the larger cities in Turkey. Life here is more relaxed and apart from Friday's market day in the city of Çanakkale, you are unlikely to get caught in a traffic jam. For those concerned about health facilities, Kepes has a large dental centre, social services centre and two very good hospitals nearby. The first is the 18th of March University Hospital and the second is the brand new Chanakale Hospital, both of which are very impressive. In Kepes, we have the Turhan Milden Centre and Craft Centre, with regular events taking place. And if you fancy watching the film, then just head on down to the Cinemaxim at Onye de Burda. There is a very good Uygulama Hotel in Kepes and a sports stadium. For those interested in chess, there's also a chess club with its own dedicated premises. Not only is Kepes surrounded by everything that you need and would want from a town, but it is also much cheaper to live here in terms of daily shopping and utilities. The climate is moderate, so no heavy winter heating bills, and the summer climate is not so hot as to have to run your air conditioning unit all day long. On every level, you'll find living in Kepes to be significantly cheaper than most other major Turkish cities.
The 18th of March University Mosque is still under construction and you can't miss it as you drive along the main highway into Chanakali. The mosque, which has a total usage area of 6,000 square metres, will have a capacity of 10,000 people. It has four minarets and two balconies. The mosque, which will be open to the public and the university, is the largest of the mosques in Chanakale in terms of capacity. The people in Kepes, and indeed Chanakale, are friendly and hospitable. Kepes gives you the best of both worlds. You are far enough out of the big city centre field and yet close enough to get into the centre of Chanakali within minutes. You're also close enough to head down the coast to some beautiful sandy beaches just a stone's throw away. There is so much going on here it would be difficult to get bored. Do I sound a little biased about Kepes? Well in truth I am. Seriously. If you're looking for the ideal place to live in Turkey, away from the tourists, but civilised and compact, in a university town where many speak English, then think Kepes. For more information on the city of Çanakkale and the surrounding area, take a look at the playlist on this channel. If you found this information useful, then please give me the thumbs up, and why not subscribe? Thanks for watching, see you again soon.